We're going to start this session with a company called Compact Cane. Compact Cane aims to disrupt the industry with the first digital white cane for visually impaired people. Welcome, Naya. Great. Good morning. I'm Naya, the founder of Compact Cane, the first digital white cane. So let me tell you a story. Last year, I met Annika, a confident student who has an incredible story. As a teenager, she lost her vision, and so now she's severely visually impaired. And just to show you what this looks like, this is what Annika used to be able to see, and six months later, this is something like what she can see. And after realizing this, I was moved to help her and other blind people. So she was facing a barrier. She was nervous about going for a job interview, so I encouraged her to bring her white cane. Just in case you don't know, this here is a white cane. It's a tool used by visually impaired people to detect obstacles and keep safe. But Annika chose not to bring her white cane to the interview because she feared that instead of seeing her talent, the interviewer would first see her disability and think she was less capable to do the job. So we're talking about the disability gap and the fact that one in three visually impaired people experience this sort of social stigma because of their sight loss. And that's because we, the public, tend to see the disability before seeing the person. Rehabilitation officers have told me that recently diagnosed people struggle to adopt the white cane because of its, social, because of its stigma. And that's because the white cane is, the is an attention-grabbing symbol of blindness. So our solution is compact cane. Instead of using the high visibility shaft like that, Compact Cane uses invisible ultrasonic waves to detect obstacles in real time, giving Annika the choice to a more discreet mobility aid like this. So this here is our second prototype. Last year, we created our first proof of concept prototype with our focus group, and we developed an intuitive haptic language that communicates the proximity of obstacles through vibrations. And it's pretty simple, so feel free to try it out later at our stand. So our innovative technology is our unique selling point. There's no one doing what we're doing in the market at the moment. Our indirect competitors use ultrasound to give users more information about their environment, but their products have to be used with a white cane because they can't detect curbs and steps on their own. But with our patentable technology, Compact Cane will become the first digital device to rival the white cane because it can detect curbs and steps, keeping users safe. So I own all of this intellectual property and I've started to patent it to give us a competitive advantage. So our vision is a world um, that's inclusive and it celebrates disabilities. And so this is what our market looks like. There are 285 million people living with sight loss across the world, with 2 million living in the UK at the moment. We plan to initially target the 70,000 recently diagnosed working age visually impaired people and job seekers where the need is more important to their livelihood and later expand the market. Our mission is to collaborate with visually impaired people to create an innovative solution that transforms lives and brings social change. So we plan to reach our market through digital and influencer marketing and make our products through outsourced manufacturing at about £100 each. We plan to sell in three ways. Through our own website, compact.com, to online distributors, and thirdly, to healthcare providers, for example, Virgin Care, to facilitate rehabilitation allowing us to access an early touch point for our visually impaired customers. Now, but, um, we plan to sell this at about £300 on average, and we're also exploring a peace of mind subscription package for our visually impaired users. By engaging with our customers and creating a community, we plan to impact the lives of about 30,000 people and make a cumulative profit of £1 million by the close of 2024. And we're looking to make significant reinvestment of our profits back into R&D and supporting charities for visually impaired people. So as the founder of Compact Cane, I'm an experienced first class master in mechanical design engineering with the passion to deliver Compact Cane. These are the credentials of myself and the talented team that I'm currently building. So what do we need? We're currently developing our next proof of concept prototype for some user trials at the end of the summer will require more engineering expertise and about £150,000 SEIS of investment to accelerate this prototype to our beta prototype by the uh, middle of next year. So we're looking for hardware startup accelerators that specialise in social tech. Now with this injection of engineering resource, money and mentorship, we're confident that by 2021 
we will launch Compact Cane, the first digital white cane. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>